and the fun continues. Tuesday, March 24th. Well, the question is one. Pay attention. Put another kid in the date. Are you going back and looking at all those? You should. They're all like list right there. You can go click and click and look at all of them. Anyway, two. Did you notice? I started by saying, hey. I've now realized that's my catchphrase. So I'm like, make sure I do all of them so we have a chance to bond. Just saying. Uh, all right. So anyway, uh, welcome to day, what are we, a seven of lock-in, technically? Because five days of last week, and then today, and today's two, seven days. So starting to get a little stir-crazy. Uh, hopefully you guys are going outside uh, and getting a chance to get some fresh air, even if you can't interact with other humans out there. Uh, you can go outside and stare at that big burning ball of Apollo, because or Helios from yesterday's store. Oh, the connections happen. Anyway, just trying to throw them out there to help you. Um, I've been outside, uh, social media, blah, 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 locked in, world going insane, but still trying to give you an education about Greek mythology, not giving up. And today we have a good story. Have a good story. Uh, and so we're going to get to that here in a moment. All right. So today's story is about a girl called Arachne. It's sad. We only have today and tomorrow left, really, for stories. Because then I think Thursday and Friday I have other things coming up. But maybe if you guys ask nicely, um, I'll find a way to give you guys more stories one way or another. If you're really bored and you want to learn or something like that, and you guys are like, Mr. Roviak, learning makes me a better person, then I'll see what I can do. I don't hate you guys. If I have free time, then eh, all right, let's we'll see what we can do for you. Anyway, up to here. Arachne, today's story. You can go clicky-clicky, find the actual paper copy of it. Again, it's on a story called Arachne and Athena. Uh, so hopefully that's going to help you a little bit there. So, with our story of Arachne, um, let's go with, let's see, how am I going to, okay. So, we know about Athena already, because she's one of the main people. We've talked about her, the things that she's going to be the god of, is going to be wisdom, uh, that whole uh, born from the head. Ooh, real quick, uh, let's, let's do it together. Uh, the whole, the 12 Olympians thing that you guys have been posting on social media, we've been going back and forth and enjoying ourselves on. Let's go ahead and get like a little roll right here. Uh, so I figure, if no one's looking, uh, you can just do it with me and like have like a little bonding thing. Uh, we do the awkward eye contacting again. Hmm. And so we get a chance to do this. Uh, I mean, if someone is watching you, then that's weird. So you'd be like, six feet away from me, ah, like a vampire. Uh, I figure no one's watching. Just go ahead and get into it. It's just you and me. No one really knows what's going on. So let's enjoy it together for old time's sake, like back when you were in the classroom. Let me finish rolling up my sleeves so we get a chance to get the full arm movement thing. For those of you who already posted to social media, thank you. Much much appreciated right there. All right, so we have Zeus, king of all gods. Mm -hmm. Hera, queen of all gods. Poseidon, king of the oceans. Demeter, gods of grains and harvest. Hephaestus, god of metalworking. Ares, god of war. Artemis, god of uh, bow and hunting. Apollo, god of the sun and hotties. Uh, also Helios' job now. And we have... Uh, 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 and then... Uh, is this a thing that we're also doing? And then I got this thing, and then I got... Uh, I don't know what kind of... Anyway, uh, Aphrodite, god of love and beauty. And then uh, this one, or my more new favorite one. Athena, god of wisdom. And I guess that's also a dance, hasn't it? Hermes. Uh, I think a lot of the TikTok dances are actually stolen from me. Feels like I'm a... I'm an intimator. Hermes, god of messengers, and then also Dionysus, god of, uh, of wine. So, yay, we've had a chance to bond on that one. So anyway, going to Arachne and what we have up there. Uh, so at this point, Athena is the god of wisdom, god of war, uh, and it turns out she's also a god of weaving. Uh, weaving is when you use strings and sort of put them together to create a picture of some kind. Ooh, let me see if I can have you guys look over here in this direction, if I can turn this. Uh, uh, where, where are we? Uh, here, this thing. Uh, so that is going to be an example of a uh, thing of weaving, that Spider-Man thing I have in the back side of my room. Because uh, that is like a thing made out of strings put together. And so that was sort of what she was the god of. I think I have another example here. 
because she was uh, would use looms as what she would end up doing. And so a loom looks like this. Uh, if you've ever been to Connor Prairie, uh, you'll see them sometimes the ladies are sitting out there. If you like when you walk through like one of the buildings and the loom is uh, this thing that has like the strings on it, and you have like a shuka 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 shuka, and you go back and forth with the strings on there, and you go shuka shuka, and that's what you would end up using. And so the loom was the thing that you could end up doing. Pause. Sorry, I had to take a quick break. Someone came by. Anyway, so the loom is the thing that you have the little strings that go across, and you're like, shuka, 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 shuka. Uh, and it would then create a picture, which ends up looking something like this. And so that is what a tapestry is. And so this was a big part of artwork uh, during this particular time period, where, as you can see up there, they would sort of do all the different strings into it. And that's one of the things that she was the god of. So now we get to this girl by the name of Arachne. And it turns out Arachne had incredible skill when it came to weaving uh, and the whole thing of using the loom. She was sort of uh, the, the, the LeBron James of her time, if you will, to the point where people would actually come to her village to watch her do it. Uh, whenever she would get you know, out there, she'd have like a public thing, she'd have like a little loom, and then people would get around like cheer her on. They're like, loom, loom, loom. She'd shuka, 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 shuka. And she'd create these beautiful works and people would pay her money for it, and it was awesome. Things were going great, till one day. This is going on and things are going well and then one of the people who's cheering her on at the end of it is like talking to her is like, oh my God, you are so good at this. You had to have been trained by the gods themselves. So it looks like you were probably trained by Athena saying it as a compliment, trying to say you are so good, you learned it directly from the gods. Arachne doesn't take it that way. Arachne is insulted and says, um, no, because no god could train me. Because do you see what I'm doing? My skills go beyond those. If anything, I think Athena needs to learn something from me. And the woman she tells it to is like, whoa, uh, I think you need to be careful what you're saying. You're insulting the gods. You're just a human. To which Arachne says, um, did you just see what I made right there? No human can do that. Do I see Athena around here? No, because she's scared of my skill. So I think you best gets to step in. And she throws it up. Well, she ends up saying this multiple times moving forward. The fact that she thinks she's better than Athena, and if Athena disagrees, then Athena should challenge her to a contest. She's like, do you see Athena here? No. So that means one of two things. Either the gods don't exist or Athena is scared of me. You take it any way you want. And the people begin to talk. Like, well, maybe she is better than Athena. Maybe Athena is scared. Maybe the gods don't exist. And eventually, the story trickles up to Mount Olympus and Athena hears about it. And Athena watches her one time from a distance and sees that she is incredibly good. And Athena's like, I am impressed by this girl, but she ain't no me. She's just a her. And a her ain't a me. So, Athena transforms herself into an old woman and goes down to this a village where Arachne is. And Athena sort of waddles in, waddle, 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 and goes and watches Arachne do her incredible thing. And at the end of it, Athena confronts her. She goes, hey, Arachne, you're really good. I think you must have been trained by the gods. And Athena saying this to Arachne, trying to see if it's true what Arachne kept saying. Arachne does not hold back, says it right to Athena's face. She's like, listen, old woman, uh, you're wrong. Uh, I'm better than Athena, because if Athena thought she was better than me, she'd show up and I don't see her. Athena goes, I think you should be careful. You're insulting the gods and nothing comes from that. Why don't you apologize? And Arachne goes, woman, pushes her back a little bit, says, back off. I've been saying this for a while, and ain't nothing bad happened. So I think you're wrong. So get to step in. Well, Athena doesn't like this. So Athena then grabs the front of her body and rips off her old skin, does not go into true god mode, doesn't go into, oh, it just goes, rips off like her, like Mission Impossible, rips off all of the skin and throws it to the side, and there is a young Athena standing there. And Arachne steps back. The whole crowd steps back. And like You can hear the whole group of people watching go, oh, snap, it's on! And they get all excited. Arachne does not back down. She's not scared in the slightest. She goes, oh, so you're Athena. And Athena goes, yes, I am. And I'm here to confront you. I would appreciate an apology in you saying that you did not mean to say those things and I will forgive you. Arachne does not. She doubles down. She goes, oh, 
I'm glad you're here. It's about time you saw how good I am and you respect the fact that I'm better than you. How's that for a God? And Athena goes, girl, fine. You think you're better than a God, let's prove it. Let's have a weave off. And the whole crowd starts chanting, weave off, weave off, weave off. And like, all right. So they start, they both go and pull out their looms. And Athena pulls out hers. And they both face each other. It's like a one-on-one -on -one weaving. And they roll up their sleeves. They go, all right, let's both create the best picture we can possibly come up with. We'll have the crowd decide who's going to be the best one. Are you ready? And they both like pop their knuckles. And they're like, all right, let's get this thing on. Ready? Go. And they have a little weaving like, shaka, 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 shaka. And they're staring at you. They're like, ah, again, there's some the evil face. Rrr, shaka, shaka, shaka. Strings are going like that. Strings are flying everywhere. And they're doing the little shaka, shaka thing. And the people in the crowd are like chanting. Some of them are going like, Athena, Athena. Others are going, Arachne, Arachne. And they pull off their, like, their shirts. They have like jerseys on underneath. And there's like Arachne on the front. of like, Arachne. Other ones rip off their shirts. And they're wearing like Athena jerseys. And it's like a whole big crowd rumble. And it's a big thing. Well, as they starting to develop them, Athena, as her picture inside of her giant portraity thing, she has a picture of the gods doing all these wonderful things, of her giving uh, the gift of like olives to the city of Athens, of, of Zeus going around and, and like helping to overthrow Cronus and free all of his trapped brothers, uh, of the people of, like, of these gifts being given to you. So all these gods doing wonderful things are in Athena's. Arachne goes full sassy mode. And not only does she decide to challenge the god, in her picture, she decides to show all of the gods doing horrible things. As an example, she does a picture of up here, it would be uh, Zeus kidnapping women and, and like hiding them. Uh, it would be of uh, Hera being jealous of the gods. And it would be of Poseidon like having tidal waves wipe out entire cities. And so she does all of these horrible, mean things. Like all of them are things from stories and mythology, but it's all of the selfish, mean, awful things that all of the gods have been doing. And Athena, in the middle of her shaka shaka, she's like shaka 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 shaka, and she's taking like peeks over there. She's like shaka shaka peek, shaka 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 peek, and sees what Arachne is doing, and she realizes two things. One. She realizes that Arachne is putting pictures of all the gods doing horrible things, and it infuriates her. She sees it as incredibly insulting because it's incredibly insulting. The other thing is, she realizes Arachne is better than her. And Athena looks at hers and looks at Arachne's and realizes this girl does have skill, and it makes her even matter. So Athena snaps. Normally, she is a really good god who makes really good choices, but this becomes one of those issues where she snaps, and when she does, she picks up her loom right in the middle of the contest, goes over, and starts beating Arachne with it, picks up this giant piece of furniture, and just starts beating this girl down and smashes her with it. And Arachne starts screaming and tries to get away. And Athena's like, you're an insulting, horrible human. What is wrong with you? How dare you insult the gods? And her thing is breaking and pieces are going flying everywhere. And Arachne is so they're screaming and trying to drag away. And the people in the crowd are stepping back and screaming like, oh my God, what's going on? It is complete chaos as Athena sits there and beats this girl with a giant loom. And in the process of the beating, as she's like, smash, smash, she suddenly realizes what she's doing. She's mid, smack, and then looks around and sees the whole crowd of people with gigantic eyes staring at her like open mouths. And she's like, oh, what did I just, that's not so good. So she kind of puts down the rest of her loop, and it falls apart. And she turns around to the crowd to address them. She's like, hey, um... <laughs> I might have overreacted and made a poor choice. Uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, oopsies. I hope you guys can forgive. As she's doing that, though, Athena is not paying attention. Sorry, I'm paying no attention to that. And Arachne crawls her, I thought I had a picture of it, her way over to a nearby tree, pulls off the string that was on her loom, the leftover strings for making the picture, throws the string, all this big, long cord string, over one of the tree branches, 
wraps it around her own neck and hoists herself up and all of a sudden hangs herself behind Athena. Athena doesn't see it happening. The crowd's like listening to her and nodding their heads. All of a sudden they're like, and they're pointing behind Athena. Athena's like, I know, I know. What I did was, you can stop freaking out. I'm not going to do it. Why are you guys screaming? What is your major? Oh my God. And she turns around and sees Arachne hanging behind her from the tree. And Athena's like, ah, and realizes it's because of her that this happened. So Athena goes, you do not deserve to die. So as she's hanging there, Athena curses her and says, you were insubordinate and you were sassy and insulting to the gods. For that, you do not continue, get to continue living as the human you were. But you were also better than me when it came to weaving. And I respect that. So I'm going to make you weave for the rest of your days. And turns her into, and you saw it a moment ago when it popped up as I wasn't paying attention, into the first spider. And arachne becomes the first spider, which is where we get the word arachnid. Arachnid comes from her name, arachne, literally named from this story. And so that was why the Greeks believed that spiders weaved their webs and why they could weave things into it. It comes back to this and the idea that they could do this whole weaving thing. And so that is where we get the idea of Arachne and where you get the idea of spiders and it comes from Athena beating her down with it. Which by the way, in case you were paying attention, it is why I also wore this tie today. I wore my spider tie to connect because I was trying to do a learny thing. So anyway, that was our story for today. Slightly shorter video. I don't know if that's good or bad right now. I mean, it gives you guys less to watch, but you guys seem to be enjoying my videos, so maybe this is going to make you guys all rage, but this is one of those days where we would just have more time to do other things. I mean, I would say we could play the Mr. Broviac game for those classes who've gotten a chance to do it. Aha, uh -huh. but we can't because I can't hear your question. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, mm -hmm. there's the Arachne and Athena story. It gives you a bit more in-depth stuff in the actual story if you want to go through and read it. Tomorrow, we're going to be taking a look at this last one down here, Heracles. That's going to be our last official story that I'll be telling you. We have a test coming up on Friday. Thursday, I think we're going to give you like a homework assignment-y kind of thing. It's like a review guide. I might have you guys do that. Um, and then we'll see. Maybe I'll do other videos for you if we want to connect and bond and see from there. From there. Again, I'm missing you guys. It's starting to drive me nuts. Uh, but we'll do what we can. That's all I got. All right. That's all I have. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the fact that I did the um, random things. I went from my closet. Uh, I was just trying to put on. I have like multiple different sunglasses and stuff like that. And then this. I figured I'd entertain myself uh, and just sort of see who was paying attention as I was going through and doing it. So I'm pretty sure you guys thought it was weird, but whatever. I miss you guys, and you're not here to make fun of me, so I can do whatever I want. I also kind of wonder how many of you guys are still watching my video. How many of you guys, like, when I got done, you guys just went ahead and hit stop, and then you were good to go. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Hey, so how many of you guys are still watching right now? Because now my question is, I figure there's a chance that some of you guys just went ahead and stopped at that point. But maybe others of you paid attention to the fact that the video was longer. But I figured I would just sort of talk for a moment um, and then see from here. Um, I don't really have much to say except for the fact that uh, it really drives me nuts much more than I thought not being able to communicate and interact with kids and stuff like that. Um, but that's all I have. So hopefully we've been enjoying each other on like the interacting thing where we get a chance to like chat and stuff like that, which is better than nothing. I'm going to try and make the most if I can tomorrow. All right, I guess that's all I have. I just didn't want to hang up yet. It's like a really weird one-way FaceTime where I feel like I'm FaceTiming you and you're just like sitting there staring at the wall the whole time. And I'm like, all right, I got to go to bed. All right, talk to you later. I don't think you're responding. Okay, it's creepy. All right, it's weird. Talk to you later. Toodles. Now I'm going to actually hit the button. I'm hitting the button. Really, I'm going to hit the button. I'm going to hit the button. I'm going to hit the button. It's 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 going to hit